Well, this looks like what I'm looking for. Question is, can you still get in there? Oh my God, you can. Oh my days. Let's go. I've got to be quick. I think I've triggered an alarm. I'm not sure. I hear something bleeping. Let's get in there and have a look. Oh my God. This is mental. Oh no way. Sick. Hey, Alwan! Alwan! Bring the shotgun, boy! We're going hunting! Woo! Honestly. I can't deny, I am absolutely buzzing for this one. Honestly, I'm so buzzing, I feel like one of them electric ear cleaners that your mum used to keep under the bed, but like a giant size one. Woo, right. Welcome to the channel if you're new here, and welcome back if you've been here before. Let's get on the road. Truth be known, I've got next to nothing organized for this trip. It's an absolute last minute stab in the dark, to be fair. The grind's been sucking up my soul way too long this week, and it's Monday and I've finally got two days off. I've raided the cupboard of Dad for a couple of sneaky bits here and there, but I'm gonna have to stop and get some petrol, and then I'm gonna have to go to the Pohawk and get some last minute bits. That's all the uh, last minute bits and some actual meat for a meal tonight. Let's get ourselves back on the boat. Let's do this. I don't really know where I'm staying tonight, if I'm perfectly honest. I've got a few spots, but I've not really checked anything out 100%. And trail-wise, I really don't know where I'm going to go hiking, if I'm honest on this one. But ah, fear not. Fear not, because we are going hunting. And we're going hunting for something that could be absolute legend. I shit you not. Thing is, I want to kind of keep it a surprise, so I can't really tell you too much about it. Suffice to say that we may not find it. It may be blocked and I may not be able to get into it. And because of the weather, it may also be absolutely shit up and a bog fest. But fear not, if we do find it and we can get in there, this is going to be epic. I kid you not. And I guess the funny thing with this is like, you guys are gonna know if I found it or not. If I found it, then you saw a little clip at the start of this video. If you didn't, then in about five or 10 minutes time, I'm gonna be pulling my hair out and wondering what the frig I'm doing. Also, to throw another spanner in the works, hey, time. It's 20 past two now, it's telling me I'm gonna get there about quarter to four, which is already gonna be dark, which may or may not be a problem because let me throw another little secret in, it's actually underground. So I'm gonna need a hell of a lot of torches anyway, so light's not really that much of a factor. Either way, what I figured I'd do is sort of head down to the spot now, check it out, see if we can like get in there and have a look, and if not, or even if we can, Thereafter, we'll head down to a car camping spot for the night and hopefully tomorrow find a sick little trail to have a hike around. Ah, and that sort of leads me to where we're going as well. I should tell you, we're gonna be heading down to the Shropshire Hills again. We've been there before, we've had a legendary little car camping spot. Hey, I've got a sneaky little other one I wanna maybe check out tonight. Upgrade wise, I would love to tell you that I'd got an epic little mini upgrade today, but for some reason, Amazon decided that they weren't going to deliver it yesterday and now I've got to wait another two, three days. Little sneaky secret, it's called the Wind Slayer and if you've watched my last video, you'll be clapping your hands at the minute knowing that I've got something that's going to muffle out the wind. That last video, massive apology. New learning curve with the GoPro 10, doesn't have a housing, which means the wind hits it like a madman. I've been told and done my research and this Wind Slayer for like 10 boys should do the trick in a Paramount type fashion. So. Sanav, ho oh, oh, ho, he's being optimistic. He's saying about an hour and a quarter, like I say, we should get there about a quarter to four. So we'll see how we go. I think it's time. Oh, mad bump on the road. Got a sneaky little bit of music on the radio and uh, guess I've found it. Let's do it. <laughs> Honestly, we're only a few miles from the house and we've only got 43 miles to go. This sat nav's taking me a right random route through housing estates, little country lanes. We're going through a place called Fenny Drayton at the minute. Oh, and if you can hear some smacking and rocking in the back, all that, that's the blimmin'
Wrestling cooking table. I forgot to put it on the right hand side. I've missed me turn! Oh, I'm waffling and missed me turn. Yeah, that's the cooking table. It keeps smacking up against the, uh, the bed. I forgot to put it on the right side. I left it on the left side. Oh, hey. Let's go, let's go. We ain't gonna get here anytime soon, are we? This is gonna be a blooming nightmare. Uh, bit of an unusual one, this one, because I can't really tell you where I'm going, because I can't really give too much of it away, but, uh, yeah, there's the sign for Tamworth. Wow, there's always some random place names, eh? Check that out. Kettlebrook. Also, what's a good thing is, it's only 35 miles to go on this trip. This is probably one of the shortest ones we've ever done. Although, like I said, I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to stop, so we could end up doing quite a few miles, which doesn't really matter because I've been a good lad this week and I've finally got around to treating the car to a little bit of a once-over check. Pretty cool, actually. I can't believe it. I checked the oil and I've never put any oil in this car in 10 months of buying it and about 15,000 miles of driving it, and I still don't need to top it up. I've also topped up the water for the... Uh, window squirty bit it was a bit of a random one i used old man jones mug or rather jug looks like he hadn't cleaned it properly you know and as i poured the water in there was a nice fat globule of gravy went in there so at some point that's probably going to clog up the filter yet again what a klutz he is so good news really in terms of the car seems like she's going to be good for a few miles yet yeah, nothing's fell off recently so that's always a good one on the scorecard I'm not being funny, but yeah, the sat nav's joking with me. That says the next destination is the M6 toll. I'm pretty sure I set this sat nav so it doesn't hit any toll roads. That'd suck ass. You know, that's seven quid straight out, you skyrocket. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going, man. Whoa! Dude nearly smashed the shit out of his car, man. Oh, I saw that. God damn. We don't know where he's going. I ain't following him. Oi, oi, oi. Mark, this is bullshit, dude. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, where do I pay? Oh, this looks... This. Oh, me. I've got to get right close. This is gnarly. What? Oh, fuck. I'm not even in gear. Oh, I'm stressed, dude. Ah, oh, don't eat my card, please. What do I do? Oh, is that it? Did I pay? Oh, fuck. I don't know. It says thank you. Have a nice, safe trip. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, the sun of me. What are you to me? I don't know what it's doing. Look, I am. I'm going all the way up. And then I'm coming all the way back down again. Because that'll be quicker, won't it? Aye. I don't even know how much you paid. <laughs> Could have been about 50 quid. I'd be oblivious. I won't even know. Just robbed me blind on the side of the road. Spit me out, beat me up, and chucked me out the other side, you know. The thing with that was, it was telling me it was 20 minutes faster on the toll road. Now I'm on it, it's telling me that it's only 10 minutes faster, so I may as well just go the other freaking way. And I really do feel random about going up and coming back down, but oh well. What the hell? I'm like two miles up the toll road and I'm off it already, I don't know. Oh man, did I just pay like top dollar just to drive two freaking miles? This is so random. And now it's giving me multiple routes to go. Oh, this sucks, turd. Oh my days. <laughs> what? Nightmare trip. Oh, I hope the old trip's not going to be like this. Oh my days, this could be an absolute disaster. Well, she's taking me back on the freaking toll road. This is nuts, dudes. I've just paid for two mile, and now I'm going to pay for some more. I'm not going on the toll road, fuck it. I know I'm going to hit traffic, I know it's going to make me late, but I'm a bit par about these freaking toll roads again. I've got a feeling I'm going around in circles. Well, pleased to say we're on what they call the M54, which don't look like a motorway because it ain't three lanes, um, but it ain't a toll road, so all's well in the toll road world. And when we get off this, we should only have about four miles to the uh, to the spot. So, all good. We should get there with no light and pretty much in the dark. <laughs> oh, wow. Finally off the big roads and onto like the little country kind of type roads. And we're only 3.7 miles from where I need to be. Been a bit of a weird on this. I'm a bit, yeah, like we don't normally get lost on the roads. The sat nav, I think it was just the sat nav. It had a real moment. And screwed us over. <laughs> and cost us about half an hour and about an extra 
15 miles. I don't know what was going on with it. But it is what it is. We're nearly there. Let's do it. Wow. Proper country road. Not much traffic down here. And it does feel really dang bleak. I know it's the weather as well, but also like the wintry sort of scene, you know. Everything dying around me. It's not good. Ay, ay, ay. 30 mile an hour. God, what's these speed limits? Darn it. Oh, these roads are gnarly. Look, big high hedgerows. I've had two near misses already. I just didn't get them on camera. The locals like to drive fast around these parts. I'll tell you that much. Well, we're pretty close by and you might not see it, but there's an actual helicopter in the air there. And I'm already feeling a bit sketchy about this thing. It's a little bit of a dodgy thing I'm going to, if I'm perfectly honest. And uh, kind of getting the chills up me a little bit. Right. Thing is, going down here, don't really want to get seen if I'm perfectly honest. I really hope this is the right spot. Got a bad vibe that it's not. Oh man. Uh it's not really anywhere to fucking flip and pull up. You have arrived. Yeah, right, okay. So it's on the left. I've got to try and yo, I might be able to get through there. I've got to try and get through somewhere. I don't want to park the car down here either, really. Perfectly honest, or maybe. Or what about this muddy patch? This could be an option. Yeah, I think this is an option. I just hope it don't get stuck. Oh mate, really hope it don't get stuck. Right, I know this seems all a bit weird and a bit shifty and a bit odd, but I'll kind of show you what it is when I get there and I'll explain a little bit more, right? I'm not gonna mess about, it's nearly dark. Let's get on the road, let's do this. Well, this invitingly not looks like the spot. Let's see if we can get in there. Shit. Oh my days. Well, this looks like what I'm looking for. Question is, can you still get in there? Oh my God, you can. Oh my days, let's go, I've got to be quick, I think I've triggered an alarm, I'm not sure, I hear some up bleeping, let's get in there and have a look, oh my god, this is mental, oh no way, sick, alright, oh my days, the Knights Templar cave, oh wow, we found it, this is nuts. I've got to be quick. I want to be in and out real quick. I'm going to show you around and then I'm going to link you another video where you can check out more of this. I'm para as mad. Look, someone knows I'm in here. This is insane. It's all carved out. It's supposed to be like 700 years old, this thing, man. Wow. There's little tunnels everywhere. Like altars and stuff. All my days. This is pretty damn impressive. I don't want to get caught in here. I really don't. This is nuts. Look at it. There's supposed to be some shrine thing somewhere. There's candles everywhere, man. Maybe this is it. Look. All symbols up on the wall. Carvings and stuff. Original carvings, man, where they used to do like some rituals or something. Look, there's a crucifix. I'm rushing, I'm buzzing, and I'm shaking. I'm not being funny, but I really think I'm setting an alarm off. I'm gonna get out of there. This is nuts. It's like someone cleared the place up as well, eh? Wow, man. This is so. I mean, look. Not a great description, I will give you more info on it later. <sighs> this is uh, pretty special. Hadn't expected to find this. Wow. Impressive. Plenty of people been down here as well, eh? It's nice that it's been cleared up and no one's really abusing it. I like that. All right, let's get out of here. There's some dodgy things going on. I don't want to get in trouble. It's not nice. Not right. 
One last look at the spot though, eh? Legend of a find, absolute pucker. All right, let's see if we can get out of here, no trouble. I heard people firing guns around here. That's one para. Where was the fence cut? Let's get out of here. Hopefully no problems. There's a farmhouse over there. Neither. And locals don't seem too friendly. <sighs> but then. on the road sweet I think made it nice no one saw us well all the trouble of getting down here that definitely made it worthwhile I would love to have spent a lot more time in there and checked it out a lot more but when I come over that little fence there I think it triggered an alarm I could hear it bleeping in the distance so I don't want to mess about with no farmers you know in and out have a quick look tip the box off we saw it and move on right I think I'm gonna rush back to the car, keep my fingers crossed it's all okay and see where we're gonna go for tonight. Let's do it. So according to local legend, the caves were originally used by followers of the Knights Templar in the 17th century. Devotees following the ancient code. So not quite the 700 year shit in my pants quote that I mentioned in the cave, but still pretty dang old. But the historic England establishment, which describes these caves as a grotto, believes that they were probably built in the late 18th or 19th century, hundreds of years after the Templar's order was even dissolved. Therefore, their original date of inception remains quite a mystery, as does their use. As the historic England quotes, their original purpose is shrouded in mystery. But I personally hasten to guess that with all the pentagrams, crucifixes and dodgy looking bits in there, that it probably wasn't built to hold birthday parties for the local manor's children, that's for sure. Honestly. Dodgy as. You knew it's nice, Templars. Ah, good news. No smash windows and no slash tyres. Right, let's see where we're going to go. Well, that was absolute legend finding that place and I can't believe it wasn't blocked. That was insane. So, so stoked we found it. But obviously you can understand why I need to keep it a little bit secret where it actually is now. The people around here obviously don't want millions of uh, people and Muppets and who knows what going down there and messing about. I would assume probably a few people that are into the occult and so forth have frequented it over the years. So bear in mind it's not necessarily open to the public. But... More importantly, that being said, we are kind of down in the southwest of England and I think what I'll do, because it's not too far, I'm going to head up to Shropshire and a place for the night that we've been to before. If you're not familiar, let me show you on the old part for night app. Alright, so Shropshire Hills then, and I'm kind of east of that at the minute, uh, quite a way actually, about an hour away. Um, so I figured I'd kind of hit the easterly side of the Shropshire Hills. It is a spot we've done before, it's a great little spot with amazing views if it's not clouded over in the morning. Um, and now if I'm that van on the right hand side, we may get a phone signal, which I really want, because the football starts at 8 o'clock. As I say, it's about an hour, so I think we better get on the road. Right, we totally lost the light already and it's an hour's drive. So I think what I'll do guys is, unless there's any excitement or eventualities, I'll catch you when we're closer to the spot. All right. So while I'm driving over to this spot, I should give a massive shout out to Brandon Explores. Without his channel and video and a little bit of help from him, I would never have even known this place existed. I'll leave a link for his video and channel in the description slash comments of this video. Go check him out, there's some sick stuff, wild camping, car camping and so forth. And again, Big shout out, Brandon, mate. You're an absolute star. Legend. Well, 1.2 miles of foggy roads to go, honestly. It won't even matter if it was daylight up here. We ain't gonna see nothing. Really, really awkward to drive through all this, man. It's been like this for miles and it's getting worse. But this road only goes one way up to Clear Hill from what I can remember, so. But uh, yeah, just kind of, wow, taking my time. You do, a little bit sketchy. This whole drive's been really intense today. Getting lost, dark country lanes, fog. Whoa. Can't wait to get the crib set up. Well, I'm not gonna lie, this is getting a bit sketchy now. 
like, look, there's barrier type things, warnings on each side of the road because there's a big drop and I can't really see Jack. Single track as well, eh? One false moving down the ridge line. <laughs> Thing is, because it's dark and because the weather's so foggy, I can't see if anybody else is here. Like, I do seem to remember at this point, I can see up on the ridge to the right and I can see a couple of vans up there. So, I don't know where to park here tonight, whether I stay in the car park where all the, you know, cheese balls come or whether to go up on the uh, top bit a little bit where the vans normally go. I'm just testing the waters for a phone signal at the minute. Oh, Christ. Wow. At the minute, ay, 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 I've still got one. Um, oh, this is getting, this is getting really thick now. Pea soup shit, man. I don't see the road. I'm not going to lie. All right, a little bit of a clear. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the thing is, as well, oh, mate, I'm at the car park. Oh, mate. Thing is, as well, if I go in that car park, it's pothole central. I think I'm going to go up on the ridge, up on the grass. Let's do it. Let's keep moving. Oh, my word. Oh, my fucking days. Uh oh. Oh, that, that ain't good. I just hit some uh, and I'm on something. Oh mate. Car stuck. Oh fuck, I just hit something real bad. Oh wow, no way. I think my car's steaming. Oh my days, it is steaming. Oh bollocks. Let's take a look, this is bad. All right, I don't see shit. I don't see, oh my God. She's calmed down. Oh mate, I can't see anything. Oh, I need a light. I've got to have a proper look at this. I can't see where I am, man. I think, holy shit. Where have I come up? Oh my God. I don't even know where the road is. This is well dodgy, man. I've come up some major grassy verge or something. If I reverse here, I'm Going straight down the hill. Oh my god. I'm on the road. I think I'm on the road. I'm on the road. I'm nearly backed off the road here. Yeah, I'm on the road. I see it now. Alright. I'm on the road here where I'm standing, I think. Yep. Christ. The fog is so thick. Like, I'm parked. Look. I don't know if you see. I'm sideways on the fing road. I don't even know how I've ended up there. Is this a car park here? I think this is a car park here. Yeah. Yeah, this is it here. All right, I've just got to turn the car and drive straight. Oh my God. And not hit that post. Either post. <laughs> Worst moment car camping ever, guys. I don't know what the fuck I've just done. I can smell cement funky coming off the car though. Really hope it ain't damaged it too bad. I'm gonna go for the car park, man. I ain't fucking about. This is well dodger. Oh my god, I can't even see, man. I think I said it went straight. That'll do for me. All right, I see a pothole. Oh my word. Wow. Thing is, anyone else comes up here tonight, they might fucking drive into me. I mean, there's just massive poles of water here, but yeah, I'm parking. I'm here. I'm gonna check. I'm not on the road if I can in the fog. Oh wow, nightmare. We need to crash the car and roll down the hill. Well, I've just checked my spot. I think I'm actually in the middle of the car park, so I'm gonna have to try and spin around in this. Oh mate, car smells like it's overheating or something. There's no temperature gauge either. There's kind of a grassy verge to my right. I'm on a bit more of a flat with some concrete and the road's that way, I think. Yeah, I need, I need a minute. I'm in show, shop here. Wow. Well, 
<laughs> I've had a moment. Yeah, I feel good. I'm all right. It's. Uh, I don't think there's any damage. I mean, we will be able to assess it a little bit more in the morning. I've I've had a look, and the skirt came off, so I've shoved that back on. Eh, the rattle when I started up, the engine was like that. I think it's the exhaust needs looking at, but that's for a future. But I don't know about the smell. I think it was just hot. We've drove for hours, you know, today. So. Yeah, if there is anything, I'll have to assess it in the morning. More importantly, I mean, you've got to worry about now and the moment. There's no way I can move from this spot. I'm stuck here. I don't think there's another soul around here. Or even if there were 20 foot away, I wouldn't know about it. Because I can't see nothing. Um, I think I'm far enough into the car park now that no one's going to drive into me, I hope. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to get the, the crib set up and uh, get the kettle on. I need a brew. And good news is, like, we've got an hour before the football starts. And oh, we've got a full signal. I don't know why. Last time I was here, it was, like, sketchy and only in one spot. But, hey, the 5G gods are with us tonight. We've got a signal. So, FA Cup, Man U, I do believe it's against Villa. Quote me if I'm wrong, but... Uh, oh, <laughs> the day might actually get a bit worse with the football we'll probably lose 3-0 but here we go let's set it up let's get it on ah finally i'm in a safe space <laughs> the kettle's on and i got a mock of coffee and the football's about to start happy days man that really really smells like gas like wow like wow that stinks I've never smelled gas that bad. Whoa, that's a bit gnarly. But yeah, freaking A, what a day. Nearly got lost with the sat nav like a madman going around in circles, paying toll roads. Found a Knights Templar cave and then smashed the crap. Wild thought I had. Out of the car driving through fog and nearly went off the cliffside. Yay! Car camping, you know. <laughs> what an adventure. Finally in the crib and it's all set up. Feel good now actually. A bit more chilled, but I think I'm gonna get his coffee made up. And then we're going to start putting the food on because the football has just started. So chilly tonight, don't you know? All right, Uncle Ben style, no less. Rice, chilli, bunion, mushroom. Oh, we're going full guns and blazing with this one. The only thing I've not got, and I didn't bring because I don't like it, is dark chocolate. Some people do it, some people don't. What are you saying on chilli? With the choc or without? Let me know. More importantly, yeah, let's get it done. Ha! <laughs> oh, cry. I think that's boiling. I have to open the window a bit. Damn, man, someone's pulled up over the way. It's a car. I thought it was like a van or something, but I don't know how they got up here. That must have been mental for them. Just as fit with the fog down as it was earlier, but uh, yeah, I can't imagine their car campers. They'd probably come up here for a smoke or something, but oh well, it is what it is. Football. Well, we're 1 0 up on the football and it's nearly half time, but I gotta be honest, Villa's been all over us for the whole game. But I think. Actually, I've just turned it off. Oh, my days. That really stinks of gas. I don't know what's going on with this. The water's about boiled, so I think I'm going to get the rice on. Um, I guess I'm going to use the whole bag. Damn it. I wasn't. <laughs> uh, ten odd minutes for that one, I think. And then I'll get everything else ready. Good to go. Well, I'm not going to lie. I think I'm going to peel these mushrooms because they're a little bit soggy. So I don't really want soggy skin. Oh, my mushroom. Yeah, maybe I can cut out the soggy bit. I don't know. Me. They do feel a little soggy, them. Not, not that cool, that. Should be alright once they're fried up. Oh, me. Drop the freaking onion. Darn it. Oh man, flying everywhere. Hey. Right, the rice has been on for about 20, 25 minutes bubbling away. I think it's pretty good. I think I'm just gonna pop it on the side and uh, get the mince on. All right, check this out. Massive, massive piece of mince. And from the Poop, normally four pounds, but for some reason, only two. I guess it's like nearly out of date. It looks a good colour though. I definitely don't want all of it though. That's m oh 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 no. Did I just lose a bit of meat off the back? Oh mate, I really hope not. 
some random pit of meat going mouldy at the back, slowly growing into some sort of bionic thing. Yeah, maybe not. All right, what's that? You splash of oil then. Ah, we're on a slope. <laughs> yeah. Good to go. Well, the good news is the meat looks cooked. The bad news is the villa's just equalised, so it's now one all. Right, chuck those little bits in, fire them off a little bit. It's pretty simple, this one, you know, you know, but let's be honest, it's all about the sauce, all right. Oh, controversy about the goal, it might be disallowed. Who knows? Time will tell. Oh, I don't know if I want all that sauce. I haven't put all the meat in, you know. Oh, it's been disallowed, the goal. <laughs> Legend. I think I want a bit more sauce. Yeah, bad. Well, I'm not going to lie. I've had a little taste of this, and I've got to tell you. Ho, ho, ho. Tastes pretty damn good. I don't want to get it on a plate because it's starting to stick to the pan again, as most of my meals do. I say starting. Oh, mate. Like an extra layer on the frickin' pan. Ah, oh, yeah. Joyous. <laughs> it might taste good, but it's gonna be a blooming nightmare to clean off the pan. Right. Rice is still warm. All good. And, because you drain the water a little bit. Oh, wait. I may be able to drain it a bit more. Right. Water's mostly drained. Hee <laughs> hee. Won't be soggy rice. Right, we'll be broken camera. That's good. Looks like a pretty mad. F oh, crud. I'm just going to say it looks like a good feed, which it does. I'm not sure I'm going to eat that bit that's all over the uh, table, though. Rice is really well cooked. Stoked with that. Done well. Normally it's like full of water, but that's pretty well drained. Ah. All I need to do now is work out how the hell to clean that frying pan and pray that my new stay 1 0 up. <laughs> right, feasting time. Well, the feast's pretty good, but the football's getting a little bit feisty. No one's been sent off yet, but I think it's coming. Well, <laughs> here's a weird observation then. Look, when I serve these rice meals up in the car, I always put the rice on one side and the meaty stuff on the other. Well, when I do it at home, I always put the rice on the plate and then put the meaty stuff in the middle or sort of over the top. What's that all about, eh? What do you do? I don't know. What's your preference? Does it matter? Because this way, look, you've got the choice if you want to mix it or not. But if you've got the rice in the middle and all the meat on top, it mixes in already, so you don't have that choice. Mmm. Decisions. Mix it already or not. <laughs> oh, that was one of the tastiest feeds I've done in a while, probably since last week's Red Tide Crew. But... I think the rice was just absolute spot on. I finally think I've worked out how to cook it, but football was good as well. We finally won a game, one nil. It wasn't convincing, but a result's a result. And I don't know about the area, it's a bit random. There's like a few sort of dodgy little monsters driving around in the car. I thought there'd be nobody up here. The fog's still as thick as it was earlier. One parked up over the way and then drove off without me hearing them. And there's another one parked down the way. They look like cars as well, so I'm pretty sure they're not car campers. They're probably like smokers or shaggers, but it is what it is. I figure I'm just going to chill out for an hour. It's about 10 o'clock. Get my head down about 11. Hopefully everything should be cool. And I'll see you guys in the morning. Ha-ha!